With the Streamlabs MediaShare widget, you can interact with your viewers by allowing them to publish video clips directly onto your stream whenever they send you a tip. And in this video right here, I'm gonna show you everything about it. What is up all my streaming friends? Wild for Games here to help you become bigger and better with everything Streamlabs. Now, if you plan on using media sharing, you need to make sure that you remain within the terms of service of your streaming platform. We recommend you review each video in the queue first or get help from a mod to check videos submitted by your community. Now that we got that out of the way, let's set up media sharing. To enable media sharing, first visit streamlabs.com and log into the dashboard. On the left side of the dashboard, click on all widgets. Then click on media share, and now you'll be on the media share settings page. Click enable in the top right of the page. After you enable media share, a pop-up will ask you to choose between auto show videos or auto hide videos. Auto show is great for streamers that have moderators that can filter the content before it's shown live. Auto hide is great for streamers that don't have moderators and or want to manually play the media themselves. You can change these settings later on in the recent events tab where you will manage all of the media sent to you. Please note, after you enable the media share from the dashboard settings, a new option to add media will appear in your tip page. Media sharing has a few different preferences, so let's go over them real quick. Price per second, this defaults to 10 cents. For every 10 cents tip to you, one second of submitted content will play. Subscriber per second, this lowers the price per second for your most loyal viewers. Minimum amount to share, the minimum tip amount required to submit a media request. Maximum duration is the maximum length of a video or song. Buffer time is the amount between videos. Spam security cross-references YouTube's video rating to filter by quality and view count. Generally speaking, the higher the rating and view count, the less likely this will violate Twitch's TOS. And last, we have Media Progress Bar, which is the interface element for playback. When it comes to adding media share to your Streamlabs OBS, open up Streamlabs OBS and in the sources section, click on the plus sign. Click media share widget and name your source. You'll be given the option to adjust any settings here before adding your widget to your stream. Click done on your media share widget and now it will be live on your stream. If you use a different software to stream like OBS Studio or XSplit, all you need to do is copy and paste the widget URL into the scene as a browser source. When the tips start rolling in, you will need to manage your media, which will be in a queue located in your dashboard under the recent events tab. Click on media share from the options at the top and you'll see all of the videos your viewers sent in the pending media section. Click on the green check mark to add them to your queued media. Please note if there's no video in your queued media section, it will automatically appear at the top waiting for you to press play. Remember, you can toggle whether to show or hide the video that is playing in the upper right and also change the volume. Pending media is at the bottom where videos will first appear when a tip is received. These are ready to be reviewed for appropriate content and approved before being added to the queue. This is also a great task for your moderators to handle, so that way you can concentrate on your stream. So let's show you how to set permissions up for that. To give your awesome moderators some more responsibilities to help you out, we have to grant them permissions via the shared access. In the dashboard under account, click on settings, then click on shared access, Go to the created invitations and click on create invitation. Make sure to allow a trusted account to become a moderator or administrator. For media share, they will need at least moderator privileges. When it comes to sending invitations out or giving more responsibilities to your moderators, a personal note from me to you is make sure that you select people that you can trust, you personally know, or that someone has your best interest in mind. Trust me, this is important. Media sharing is one of those great tools that I really recommend you experiment with because you will be surprised how many people love using this when they donate or send a tip just to make you laugh or chuckle or maybe even make you cringe a little bit. And that is something that's gonna be kind of interesting for you in your stream and of course your community. Now, if you need any more help with anything Streamlabs related or just streaming in general, 
that's where I come in to help you out. Do us a favor, hit that big red subscribe button down below and tick that bell so you know when our Streamlabs videos go live for you. If you need any more help, gonna toss a few videos here up on screen. It's gonna make you even better with our platform. As always, Wild for Games wishing you the best of luck, and of course, peace.